Okay, more on Clay Matthews. This is what I forgot to show you on the last video. Listen, let me show you all the different places. When you have that kind of speed and explosiveness, he was much like Singletary. Singletary could move around a lot of different places, and he could find his way all over the field because of his speed. Not only does he have great straight-ahead speed, he's got great lateral speed. Okay, when you have great lateral speed and change of direction speed, that makes you a problem. So you can have Clay Matthews line up here. <coughs> And here's a tight end, and here's a right tackle, uh, here's a right guard. He can come off the corner here, he can come here, he can come here, you can block him here, and then he can spin off here, you can block him here, he can spin off there, you can block him here, you can block him here, and he can spin off here, you can block him here, you can block him there, and he can cut through the crack. Okay, when you're in the three block club, everyone has to keep his eye out from you because you may have blocked your guy. But you see 52 showing up, you got to block him again. You've blocked your guy here, done a great job. You see 52, you got to block him again. The running back comes out of the backfield, blocked his guy. You see 52, you got to block him again. Okay, when you're in a three block club, it creates great problems for the offense. Everyone, when they line up, have, has to find out where number 52 is. That's going to be key in uh, the ability for the Bears to be able to move the ball tomorrow. It's going to be a running game that's got to get him down the field. We aren't going to see the long strikes, but 52 is the read.